it's about 7.15 and we are laying in bed. Um, I got up to check the refrigerator and it is getting cold so that's one thing that's not a problem that I thought could have been a problem. Um, it is getting cold. I have some waters in there and they're coldish. We're going to get up and take a walk. He just heard walk. You want to go for a walk, buddy? Do you want to go for a walk, buddy? Okay. I also have to go to the bathroom. A number two. And it won't be the first time I do a number two in my trailer. I'm kind of weirded out about it. It's just a toilet though, right? Anyway, I'm going to get that accomplished too. <laughs> but I'm going to walk around and I think there's like a nature walk, a nature trail. I'm going to do that. Um, I have a couple boxes of stuff to put away. My closet over there is... It's a, it's a very long closet, let me show you. Um, it's the front of my trailer, um, and it's pretty deep. But because I drove from Florida in my car, and um, had stuff on the roof and stuff, I tried to pack everything I thought I would need. Um, it's a mess. And it's kind of like kind of like triangular shaped. It's like sh shallow at the top and then it goes deep and then it comes back out. Um, I got like a suitcase in there. I got a big box that I had my computer stored in. Um, there's shelves up on top and then there's a lot of like the closet rot but or things you gotta hang up hangers on. But all my stuff is like camping clothes, t-shirts, tank tops, shorts, casual laying around loungy clothes. So I don't have a whole lot of that stuff hung up and I'd really rather have some shelves or drawers. So I think I'm going to put like, like items in boxes because right now um, when I left Randy's house, I just kind of put everything in there and it's a mess. So I'm not going to spend all day doing that, but I might spend a little bit of time every day trying to organize it and put everything in a, in a way that makes sense. So that's where I'm at. <sighs> I hear some birds chirping. I was going to open this window last night and I was like, oh. see animal noises and I was like I don't want to say scared but I didn't want to hear the animal noises and have me being like oh my god there's something like right outside my trailer and then have my dog freak out too so we'll see um, so that's on my plan uh, my phone is almost full of space so I'm gonna have to move some files around today also so I'm going to set up my desktop computer on the dinette and then get the Wi-Fi out. It looks like I have pretty good cell phones reception, so I should have pretty good internet here. So that's the plan. A lot of things I've neglected over the past couple of months that i got to get back on. So Anyway, this is the start of day two, and I'll check in later. Nature is alive and talking to us is one of my favorite quotes and I realize that nothing could be more true especially being at the very start of my journey and seeing nothing but butterflies and it was really spiritually significant for me
it's my second night and we took a lot of walks today. Oh, Chewy was used to Randy's big fenced yard and running around like a crazy dog. So he had a lot of energy. We took walks. Um, we got rain done. The first walk, I think the first walk we did, it started like a big downpour. Just got back for a walk from a walk and it is raining its ass off. Let's see if we can see it. Let's go. Be a good time for me to open up the awning, but I'm not going to because I'm just gonna sit in here for a while. Yeah, it's raining a lot. Open the awnings, um, really just to check them out. I haven't really been sitting out there, and just honestly, no need to have them because we're in like a canopy of trees. I saw two snakes, I saw a lot of butterflies, I saw cardinals, I saw some big giant bees like pollinating some plants, flowers, and um. I had a salad and I took, I don't know what to do with my closet because most of my, most of my stuff is like camping and loungewear, like casual, super casual, like lay around the house casual. I did a terrible job packing. Anyway, um, I didn't know what to do with it because after I had like taken what I had at Randy's and put it in the closet, I had this like big mound of clothes and I knew it was always going to be a mess. So, oh, apparently I'm more tired than it's 11.15. More tired than I thought I was. But I had these Ikea, like, under the bed storage bags that I actually, like, packed my stuff in when I drove here in my car. So I took those and I put, like, all the pants in one, all of my warm stuff in one. And, um, so I think I'm going to keep it just kind of organized like that. And then I'll pull a couple of, like, outfits out at a time. We'll see how that goes. So, like, everything's in some kind of storage bag. I had some packing cubes that are smaller. So I put, like, my socks and my underwear and swimsuits in some of those. And then, um, yeah, all of that is, like, super organized right now. So, um, I really do need to organize the pantry. And I need to organize the, um all of my bathroom stuff, like I have a couple of bags of stuff in there that I don't even know what it is because I haven't opened it since I left Vegas. <gasps> it's probably stuff I don't need. And if it is stuff I don't need, I'm going to get rid of it because I don't want to be carrying stuff I don't need. So that was it. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of work, but oh. Oh, that was the other thing. I signed in and I used the fire stick and like 
you know, signed into all of my things. Discovery Plus, Gaia, Netflix, all that. So, I watched a little bit of Gaia and some 90 Day Fiance. And, um, I think I'm going to also get T-Mobile. Because that's, like, truly unlimited, the home Wi-Fi. So I might do that before I leave Jacksonville. Alright, that's it, I think. Okay, good night. Thank you.